great game, boss. Yeah, Welcome everyone to NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson, here with Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Ali LaForce. So Dallas will get the first possession. Out of the gate, some guys tend to start strong, Grant. Others take a little time to warm up. Which group did you align with? Yeah, good question, B.A. You know, I, I always liked to start the season strong. And a lot of it goes into your preparation. What are you doing in the offseason? Are you ready when we get into training camp, the preseason? You know, all of that building to opening night and really establishing yourself within the team and also throughout the league right from the gates. And we'll send you courtside for more on MP's unforgettable performance. Well, we thought no one would ever top Wilt's 100 points in the game record. We were wrong. He went into triple digits recently, setting a new single game scoring record. People are calling it the best performance in sports history. Unreal stuff, guys. Crazy times right now. Thanks for that. Well, guys, MP's got the matchup with Paul George tonight. And MP was on the winning side in their last encounter. He's looking to keep that same energy. And no small challenge dealing with Paul George. His size and versatility on the wing are unquestionably elite. And he's a great scorer who impacts the game well beyond putting points on the board. You know, I'm very curious to see how MP comes out and sets the tone in this one. You know he wants to make a statement in this game. So here's the Clippers starting group. Rui Hachimura is out there with Jonas Valanciunas. Then it's Green. Then there's Kelly Oubre. And it's Lewis in at the point. Green. Tipped. And Dallas with possession. They've gone on a 10-2 run. Not allowing much. Thinking back to one of the most fun runs in the NBA grant. Those early 2000 Mavs teams. Oh, I played against those teams, and they were incredible offensively. Of course, you had Steve Rash running the point, Dirk and Finley on the wings, and the pace they played with, they were well ahead of their time. Here's Oubre, following the score by Dallas. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Here's T. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. And Grant, already it's easy to view MP as one of the best to ever play. A generational player for sure. Didn't take long for him to show that he's a one-of-a-kind player. Certainly on the short list of top 20 to ever play the game. And who knows where he'll be when it's all said and done. And the Clippers with the ball. After the Mavericks picking up a basket just a moment ago. Six on the shot clock. Spins. Here's Green. The Mavericks pull it in. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Here's T. Another three for Dallas. They have leaned on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. Down low. Here's Green. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. And shots like this seem to get Green going. I mean, he feels like he can score on any type of defense. Here's T. Achimura with a rebound. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. 
Here's Lewis, guarded by Doncic. Alan Chunas with a screen on Doncic. And here's Oubre from the arc. Sends it home from three-point land. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Here's T. Really played well against the Clippers in his last game. Drops in the three. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. Outside, green. Pass to Valentunas. Back to green. To the paint. Valentunas down low. He came away with 14 points in his last game. Here's T. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Here's Lewis. No made baskets yet. Oubre against Hardaway. Back to Achimura. Here's Lewis. Oh, great D that time from Doncic. Dallas has gone four for four so far from three-point land. Impressive. Here's T. Another one falls for Dallas. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. And here's Green from the arc. The Mavericks pull it in. And his struggles have been apparent. Unable to make an impact score in the ball. Here's T. Yep, that one goes. T's got 26 points. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Now a timeout called by the Clippers. You know, last game they matched up with the Mavs. A tough loss there. <laughs> it's always hard to get a win on the road, especially when you show zero energy on the defensive end. It looked like there were communication breakdowns all night. Deadly, especially when you're on the road. He's checked in for the Mavericks. Josh Giddy comes in for Hardaway. And a moment now to take a look at a terrific player who has earned the Player of the Week in the Western Conference. He's more than deserving of this accolade given the way he's been playing. He injects so much energy into their offense, whether he's finishing the play himself or lending a helping hand. Here's Boston. Back to Valanchunas. And George launches it from deep. Oh, no good. Unable to win this run. You know, over his career, Paul George has racked up more than his fair share of accolades, Grant. Well, he's a fixture at All-Star Weekend, that's for sure. Now, he's made the all-defense team more than a few times. He's had an outstanding career. Here's George. After the Mavericks picking up a basket just a moment ago. Here's Clark. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Also points how just like any others, that's a great play. The three. Another three for Dallas. He's carried much of the scoring load tonight. And with the win in reach, don't expect him to let up. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. Blake Pollard has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. George is screen on Giddy. And here's Oubre from the arc. Drains the triple. Oubre's got his second basket on the night. Too much space on the perimeter. There needs to be a little more energy from the defense. Here's T. And he dunks it down. They're simply not missing. Unreal. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. So it's the Clippers now. The Mavs get their last shot to go. George's shot is off. Here's T. George defending. Here's T. And it's Dallas scoring again. And he's carried them this quarter. A dominant offensive stretch. 
Pass to Valentunas. Back to George. Outside Ubre. Clark with the screen. Shot from the wing. And Ubre gets it to go. Ubre's got his third basket on the night right there. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. T passes to Jackson. Here's T. George defending. Here's T. Oh, and that one, no question. Powered it down. He's shaking the hoop. He's actually shaking the whole building. Oh, what a slam. Look here, the fans going crazy right now. George, a deep three. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks up 25 big ones as we head into the next period. And they've been shooting the lights out from the arc. All those threes have this poise for a blowout. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. to have you with us second quarter of basketball this game has not exactly been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one and quite a position here for the Mavericks to be in what do you think guys yeah, just excellent first quarter defense they've been really getting after it yeah they were very physical and very aggressive they've just been the better team so far so here are the five for the Clippers to start the second We've got Paul George. Jalen Green is out there with Brandon Clark. And it's Brown in a power forward. Well, guys, T in the last outing against the Clippers delivered quite a performance. He dropped an amazing number of points and was so disruptive defensively, picking up a bunch of steals. Truly one of the most exceptional performances we've seen in recent memory. A monster night for him. Back to you. Well, it'll be interesting to see how much of that performance carries over into this one. His goal is to provide whatever the team needs from him on that particular evening. Well, that's what it means to be unselfish, putting the team's interests first. As you say, he just wants to come away with the W. You can tell Doncic trusts his teammates. He'll get them looks and doesn't insist on doing everything himself. George outside. Off target from three-point range. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. They go, oh! They went up. Oh! It's wow! Way yes! up there in the rafters. Beautiful. It was like he was soaring. Is there such a thing as too much air? Now, this dude knows how to fly, Grant. What a performance. Never underestimate the creativity of these guys. They've turned dunking into an art form. He's had a tough time getting it going. And he's put this team behind the eight ball. T passes to Erickson from deep Giddy. Rebounded by Green. And so it's Green who brings up the ball for Los Angeles. 4-3. Erickson grabs the board. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Going oh! Too many people play that game up there, but he does. Woo! Green against Doncic. Pass to George. Now here's Clark. Shoots over Jackson. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Here's T. Here's Erickson. Here's T. Good! That's another bucket! Oh my goodness! 50 for the game. Just putting on a show. Clark up top. Back to George. Brown in the high post. Here's Boston. And the Clippers miss again. The other team just looks more in sync and is riding the momentum. You know what? This has always been a debate. Do you take the timeout or do you let your guys try to fight through it? 
to end the drought. And he can't get that one. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort. They've shown the power inside. They're oh, right. oh, are you kidding me? Amazing. You can tell this is a matchup that MP favors. Just like last time, he's going hard. It's George with the drive. And they're on the break. Moving it up. The finish! And the dunk by Jackson. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they maintain their focus. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. Here's T. Walk up two there. T's got 54 points. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Los Angeles has gone just one of six from the perimeter here in the second. Now here's George. He's closely guarded. Here's Clark. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. Clark's got his second basket of the night. Nice recognition there by Paul George. Just getting the ball to the open man. T with a bucket. He has no answer defensively inside. Here's Green. He's got five. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. George scanning the floor. Pass to Clark. And he drops it in from the low post. Clark's got four points this quarter. Good read from Paul George. He's very skilled at realizing when he should make these passes. Talking about the veteran Paul George, a star player, Smitty, wanting to compete for titles. B.A., he knows he's not getting any younger. I think it's good he poses this win-now mentality. He's clearly hungry to win a title. 
Now here's George. He had a 21 point out again their last game against the Mavericks in Dallas. Some of it's good defense and some of it's just poor shot selection. Either way, he's being shut out. Woo, this guy is as hot as they come from distance. Defensively, you almost have to pick him up once he crosses half court. George with it, guarded by Doncic. Here's Boston. No points yet. Inside. Oh, Clark with the slam. One of the cases where height fails to tell you the whole story. Dallas has gone seven of nine from three-point range so far. Here's T. George defending. Oh, oh, did you see that finish? Oh. I'll tell you, at his size, once he gets it in there, it's over. 152 left in the half. Oh, they get a hand on it. Fires for three. It's rebounded by Dallas. This is how it's been so far. He's missed every shot he's taken, and the team is suffering the consequences. Here's Green. Mavericks with a rebound. Jackson's got six rebounds now in the game. Another one goes. Incredible. Oh, he's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. The B.A., it feels like he can't miss. Now, here's Green. Not a lot of room. Clark with a screen on Giddy. Here's Boston. The putback. And it's Giddy with a rebound. And Giddy has got the ball here for the Dallas Mavericks. And after this one, they're at home against Phoenix. Ooh, heat check after heat check. He rises to the occasion, trying to wheel his team to victory. Now, here's George. From 11 feet away, no good off the back of the rim. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. George with it, defended by Jackson. Looking to get it going. Erickson grabs the board. Erickson's got five rebounds in the game. He has gone ice cold this quarter, obviously not helping their cause. In this first half, he has really fallen in love with the three. So far, not paying dividends. Pass to Jackson. Here's T. Clark covers. Here's T. Here's Erickson. And here's Doncic outside. Nails it from three. Doncic has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And here's Brown for three. A dominating first half of play. And so far, it hasn't been close. Mavericks ahead, delivering the blowout. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Halftime is here. And what better way to tip it off than to analyze the latest news on the trade front. You add the scoring, especially from his range. Heald's an interesting guy. He's right on that all-star cusp at certain years when everything's clicking. And Now taking a look at that first half of action. It's been tough sledding for the Los Angeles Clippers. Ter and that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. They've got Isaiah Jackson. Luka Doncic is out there with Tim Hardaway, and it's Prosper in at the four-man position. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Really? Connects from downtown. Look at the big man Valanchunas showing off the playmaking skills. Pass the team. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Jacks up a three. Rebounded by Prosper. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there. And of course, that one was just crazy. Here's T into the lane. And he goes up strong. 
Strong with a one-handed jam. I don't think the D has an answer for him right now. He is just getting any shot he wants. Outside, green. It's two on one. Here's Doncic. And Doncic with the jam. A guard that can truly do it all. Doncic has tremendous power. Los Angeles has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Tipped away. And now the Mavs on the run. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It was a strong move. The shot's just a little off. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Well, Los Angeles shooting a low 26% from the field. Lewis passes to Green. Valanchuna sets a screen to halt the run. And that one's good. Green. Green's got seven points. Using the pick there, Green saw the opening and let it fly. Here's T on the take. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. They've settled into this game. You can see the offense is on fire. Yeah, the reason why they made the adjustments they needed to make. They are executing. Here's Lewis. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Mavericks. Into the third. Two minutes in now. Pass to T. Takes the three. That one falls. Great set up by Doncic. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. And he lobs it up to the rim. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Clippers will retain possession. And the Mavericks making a change here. Alan Chunas with a screen on Doncic. Gets the three to fall. Lewis has got his first three points of the game. The three-point shooting has been on point here in the second half. Here's T. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Credit them for making the right halftime adjustments. What it was, they are getting better shots, which has gotten them into a rhythm, and they're knocking down everything. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Brian, diversity is certainly valued in the NBA, but Commissioner Adam Silver said we should have more women coaches. We should have a female head coach right now. We should have more women referees. As much as we've led in certain areas, we're a bit behind in this area. It's something we're working very hard on. Brian? All right, great point there, Ali. Good stuff. We appreciate it. Here's Green. The Mavs get their last shot to go. Sweet little floater. Green. Green's got nine points and fighting his way through. Green not afraid in there with the big boys. Here's T. And got it! Another basket! And there it is! 82 points! This is a game that he will never forget. I know I won't. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Alan Chunas with a screen on Hardaway. Here's Oubre, deflected. And now the Mavs on the run. And here's Doncic outside. Another three for Dallas. And I know Doncic prefers a straight-on three shot, but his touch works just as well there in the corners. And it's Green with the ball for the L.A. Clippers. Pass to Oubre. Back to Green. Just five to shoot. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three, and that was in the first half. T with a bucket. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. And out of bounds. Dallas will have it. And here's a look at what's coming up for the Los Angeles Clippers. On Wednesday, they'll take on Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And on Friday, they'll be matching up with Andre Drummond and the Utah Jazz. George, he's checked in for green. 
Here's T. George defending from deep. Giddy. He drops it from range. Hard to win games when you allow clean looks from the perimeter. Los Angeles has gone two for five from three since halftime. You know, for my money, Josh Giddy is one of the most entertaining players in the league, Grant. Yeah, he has superb vision in the open floor, B.A. Reads the angles and sees how plays develop with ease. His teammates have to be ready for a pass from Giddy at all times. The Mavericks making a switch here. Diallo's checked in. Here's T. Non-stop scoring machine right here. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Showing the numbers from last NBA season, the leaders in team steals. Los Angeles second. And this is a team that takes great pride in being aggressive on the defensive end. They take good risk and know when to go after opportunities for steals. Both shots good from the strike. It's interesting. No free throw attempts for him in the first half. He's finally pushing the action and reaping the reward. Outside Oubre. To the inside. Pass to Lewis to end the run. And it's Kitty with a rebound. Dallas has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. And the basket is good. In case anyone was wondering, this is what it looks like when you're in the zone. He hasn't missed one all quarter. Here's Lewis. Giddy defends. And here's George. Pass to Lewis. Fires the three. The Mavericks pull it in. T's got rebound number seven tonight. Another one with 90 points, a legendary performance. We will be talking about this one for a long, long time. Lewis passes to George to the right side. Achimura from long range, and it's Kitty with a rebound. Kitty's got four rebounds now. A minute 39 left in the third quarter. Pass to T. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Now here's Hachimura. And here's Oubre from the arc. Sinks the tray. Oubre's got 11 points. He's trying to will this team back into it, doing all he can offensively. Here's T. George defending. Pass to Hardy. Three-pointer. Another three for Dallas. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Here's Lewis. Now Oubre. Valanchuna sets a screen. From downtown. Oubre can't hit. He's got to be mad at himself. You won't get a better look than that. Here's T. What an incredible scoring display he's putting on tonight. They've been a little soft with their defense on the interior. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Lewis passes to Achimura. Up top, Oubre. Shoots over Hardy. And there's Oubre. That one's good on the assist from Achimura. Oubre's got five points now in the quarter. Here's T. George defending. T. Oh, oh my goodness! That's out. He's a living highlight reel. Seriously, that could end up being one of the best dunks of the year. Poke loose. George, a deep three. And that's not going to go. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks way out of reach with an enormous lead as we head into a break. Great team defense on Paul George. They're limiting what PG is doing out there. Time for a quick break, then back to the action.
and a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. So many good point guards in this league. So much responsibility comes with that. Clippers, Alan Chunas, he's checked in for Clark. Achimura comes in for Frazier. And Lewis is subbed in for George. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Pass to Valentunas. And Grant, you grew up in the D.C. area. A lot of great basketball players coming out of the DMV in recent years. Yeah, B.A., especially P.G. County with Kevin Durant, Jeremy Grant, and plenty of others. It was a great place to grow up in the DMV as a sports fan, and that legacy definitely continues. On the floor for the Clippers. They've got Rui Achimura. He's out there with Jonas Valanciunas. And it's Boston in at the small forward position. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. Outside, Green. Pass to Boston. Alan Chunas with a screen on Giddy. Clock is at three. Achimura from long range. The Mavericks have gotten six of their 13 shots to go. Here's T. Yet another bucket. And this game has his name written all over it. He has been phenomenal. An offensive onslaught. Pass to Alan Chunas. Here's Lewis. For three. A rebound by Jackson. Trying to shoot himself out of his slump. And it's not going well. With the second effort, T with a bucket. T's got seven points here in the quarter. And it's Green with the ball for Los Angeles. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Smitty, there's been a lot of talk about the parity in the NBA right now. There are a lot of contenders for the title each year. NBA is great for the league. The more teams competing for championships, the better it is for the fans. Dallas has gone four of eight from three-point land during the fourth. Here's T. Ooh, powered down with both hands. Big time two-hand slam. And right on top of the defender, too. That's got to feel good. Outside, Green. Here's Lewis. Pass to Valanciunas. Green with the ball. Here's Lewis. Shoots over Hardy. And he wills that one in. Sinking it right through the back of the iron. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. Diallo outside. Here's T. And it's off from three-point range. The Clippers have gotten seven of 16 attempts to drop since the start of the fourth. Alan Chuna sets a screen. Lewis can't get it to go. Well, the Mavericks shooting a legendary 79%. Their offense is just on a tear. T passes to Hardy. Misses the three. And for the Clippers, they're shooting 41% here in the fourth. One thirty-three left to play in the fourth quarter. Here's Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Mavericks. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout. But tonight, they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were, without a doubt, the better team. And with this win, they've tallied up a total of six wins on the year. And they have to feel pretty good about themselves, taking the first two games of the season between these teams. And what a huge performance it was for T. So impressed with his performance today. He was confident, he was composed, and the defense just didn't know how to adjust. Here's Boston. Pass to Lewis. To the middle. 
middle. Clock at six. That one goes in. One positive takeaway. At least they're finally showing signs of life out there. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. T with a bucket. <laughs> this has to feel good. They gave their fans a show and secured the W. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there all night. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Banked it in off the glass. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. Here's Lewis. And so Dallas takes this one by a big margin. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight. And the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Steve Smith. Nice team win.